In today's video, we are going to talk about why Linux is better for programming. Well, there are many reasons that makes Linux really popular among programmers. And if you ask why is that so, well the answer is there are actually a lot of things. But I'm going to go through the major ones that I have found and I think they are more prominent. I will talk about seven such aspects. First of all, I'll talk about the security. Well, as Linux distributions are open source, that makes them very secured. Because whenever there is a bug or there is some malware related to Linux distributions, an open source community work really rapidly to get rid of that particular bug or malware. And that makes Linux distribution really secure. And there are some other aspects related to security of Linux, but I'll not go into that. The second reason that makes Linux distribution better for programming is that Linux can improve the programming workflow. As the package manager in your Linux distribution is for programmers in terms of its efficiency. Let's say you want to install something or you want to try something new. So you just have to type sudo apt get install and whatever you want to use and whatever you want to install you just need to write it and within a couple of minutes you will have that thing available installed into your system and you are good to go. If you talk about the Mac OS or Windows operating system, you will have to install a package manager and then you have to download and install your particular package. And if you want to have a good reliable one and just doing that can be very difficult task in Windows and Mac OS itself. So that makes Linux distribution really better for programmers as we do not have to do extra things. The third thing that I really like about Linux distribution is no rebooting. This is something that we have not seen in the previous Linux distribution or we have not talked about ever. Well, if we talk about Linux distribution in terms of no rebooting, we do not have to restart the entire computer just to be able to work with whatever installed onto your system. Well, as we have seen that whenever we install some packages or some drivers into our Windows operating system, it asks us to reboot our system. That is not the case with Linux distribution. If you talk about the Mac OS, it's something that I think is really important because it is a fact that as a programmer, we tend to install lots of different things and the ability of those operating system without restarting is not there. So that is why I would say that Linux is better in this aspect as well. The fourth thing that I'm going to talk about is task automation. Well, Linux is almost built for the automation of your tasks. Even if you are not an advanced user, it still allows you to learn and explore the wonders of your Linux distribution. But if you are more Linux experienced user who knows how to code and how to manage your Linux distribution, you do not have to do anything twice because of the fact that Linux will itself really do everything for you. And it is pretty common thing in the Linux community that is referred to as one-liners. So that is a really good one. If we talk about the fifth aspect, I would talk about the performance. Well, as we all know that Linux are very light operating system and they are not as hard onto your hardware resources as some other operating system. Linux distributions are faster and they perform very efficiently. But on the other hand, if we compare it with Windows and Mac operating system, yes, they offer some of the features that are not available in Linux, but in terms of performance, Linux is way ahead. In terms of 6x fact, I would say that Linux can revive your older computers. Let's say you have a system that is old enough and it is not able to install and run your Windows operating system or Mac. At the same time, you will be able to download and install Linux distribution on it. As you know that we just got Windows 11 and in Windows 11 they had said you can only install Windows 11 if you have TPM 2.0 available with you. Other than that you cannot install Windows 11. That is not the case with your Linux distribution. As there are a lot of Linux distribution and I will talk about that in the next aspect. So the seventh aspect that I am going to talk about is customization. Well, in Linux distributions, we have numerous Linux distributions available and with each Linux distribution, we get different features and different things. For example, let's say if you have older computer, 
and you have limited hardware resources. For that purpose, you will find a particular Linux distribution that will work just fine on that particular hardware. Other than that, if you do not like your Linux distribution, you still have a lot of other options. For example, if you do not like Ubuntu, you can go with Fedora, you can go with Manjaro, you can go with Pop OS, you have many other choices. So that makes Linux distributions very likable for programmers as they get a lot of customization option. And not only that, you can customize your current working Linux distribution as well. You just have to download and install some of the packages, themes, some of the wallpapers and some other customization tool and you are good to go. So these are some of the aspect or you can say some of the things that makes Linux distribution very likable for programmers. So please leave a like, subscribe and press the bell icon as we are done with this video. I'll see you in the next one. Till then, take care.